Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Okorodi and Paul Benko. This game was played in Budapest in 1951. Okorodi had white pieces and he started the d4. Benko played d5, c4, queen's gambit, c6, knight to f3, knight to f6, knight to c3, and Benko played e6. Semislav. If d takes on c4, then it's a Slav defense. We have Semislav. e3, knight from b to d7, bishop to d3, d takes on c4, bishop takes pawn, b5 attacking the bishop and making room for light square bishop to come to b7. Bishop to d3, bishop to b7, white castled kingside, b4, attacking the knight, knight to e4, c5, black wants to get rid of his weak pawn on c file. Knight takes knight, check. Black must make an important decision. He has to capture the knight. How would you? capture the knight. With the queen, knight or pawn? Benko captured with pawn. Is that good? Queen takes on f6 is a neat capture. What about knight takes on f6? Is that good? Would you play that? Knight takes on f6. That is what white was hoping for. If knight takes on f6, then bishop to b5 check. What now? King to e7? Perhaps knight to d7? Then knight to e5. How to defend the knight? Bishop to c8? And then white plays a winning move. What is the winning move in this position for white? Queen to f3. Attacking f7 square. And the rook on a8. Okay, so in the game we have g takes on f6. Benko wants to use the semi-open file for his rook to attack white king. Queen to e2, queen to b6, a3, bishop to d6, a takes on b4, which pawn to take? This is the right capture and this is what Paul Benko did. e takes on d4, black to move, bishop takes pawn, comes to mind and looks like an obvious move. But Benko had his eyes on a white monarch and played rook to g8. And white said, I am keeping the pawn on b file. We have reached the most interesting position of the game. It is black to move. What would you do? Please pause the video and try to find the best move for black. Did you pause? Did you find the move? Let's have a drum roll. Oops, I almost forgot. I sold my drums on eBay. Okay, so ready for the move. Queen takes on d4. There was a surprise on Crody's face. What is going on? Crody did his thinking and played h3. He didn't take the queen. Why? Let's have a look. If knight takes on d4, then rook takes on g2 check. And after king to h1, rook takes on h2 check. King to g1, and there is checkmate in one. Checkmate. Look how these two bishops are pointing at 
white king. Okay, so we have h3. It is black to move. Black should move his queen to a safe square, shouldn't he? Benko had a different idea. He played knight to e5. And white said, okay, show me that you know what you're doing. He captured the queen. Mm. And then we have rook takes on g2 check. King to h1. It is black to move. Black played the move and white resigned. What is the move? Rook to h2. White resigned in view of this continuation. King takes rook. Then knight to g4, double check. And after king to g1, there is checkmate in one. Bishop to h2. Check. Mate, wasn't that brilliant attack by Paul Benko? Hmm. And let's go back to this critical position at move 16. Have you seen the killer move in this position? If you did, congratulations. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt. And bye for now.